Loss can be prevented if medical product and service providers always put themselves in the patient's shoes and prioritize the interest and benefit of the customer before selling and providing their product or service. Fatal loss due to mistakes in business practices in the healthcare sector could mean the loss of a loved one. This is a story about Tommy. He currently works as a procurement manager for a privately owned hospital. It all began when Tommy held a tender for the supply of new medicines for diabetes. Tommy was contacted by his old friend Bella from college, who now works as a sales manager for False Pharma. False Pharma is one of the suppliers of the new medicine. In that meeting, Bella offered Tommy a deal. If False Pharma wins the tender, Tommy will then receive a 5% fee out of the total tender value. Furthermore, Bella guarantees the authenticity and quality of the medicine her company is supplying at a price that is far cheaper compared to other companies. Tommy initially refused, but Bella kept on persuading and even promised Tommy a motorbike as a gift. Tommy was tempted and ultimately agreed to cooperate. False Pharma ended up winning the tender without undergoing a comprehensive and detailed quality check process. False Pharma began supplying medicine for the hospital, which is prescribed and used by the doctors to treat their patients. Sonia is one of the diabetic patients of the hospital who used the drug supplied by False Pharma. Everything is fine after a few days. When Sonia, still under the medication, she suddenly fell ill on the fifth day with chest pains and high fever. Sonia and her family became suspicious of the new diabetic med. Sonia was quickly brought to the hospital and her family complained to the hospital. They demand a thorough check and diagnostic to find out the cause and convey their suspicion because several other diabetic patients also experienced the same thing. The families of the patients ended up prosecuting the hospital and False Pharma. It was proven in court that the medicines applied were counterfeit drugs. Furthermore, the procurement process was not transparent. After investigation, it was found that False Pharma gave a bribe to Tommy during the procurement process. The story of Sonia and the other families would have a very different ending. If only all decision-making parties had applied integrity and transparency in their work. With strong integrity, the supplier should not have provided gratification and benefit to the hospital procurement division. Also, the medicines must be ensured to have the best quality, original, clinically tested, and approved. The hospital should also conduct their tender transparently through an inspection process to confirm the authenticity and quality of the medicine supplied to the hospital. Also, the organizer must have strong integrity to refuse bribes and gratification provided by the vendor. The public is expected to seek information on the medicine and their usage through trusted and credible sources such as their primary physician, and hold an active role in reporting all practices that are not in line with integrity and transparency in the healthcare sector to the authorities. If the process is done in a complied and transparent manner, then the performance of the hospital's service, doctors, and vendor will be optimized so that Sonia would not have suffered the side effects and Bella's harmful counterfeit medicine case would not have happened. Not only Sonia, but millions of other people's lives would also be saved by implementing integrity and transparency in the healthcare sector.